In this video, we'll be showing you how to apply the Hempel Silic One system over old antifoul. Silic One is a biocide free solution based on silicon and hydrogel, which gives the coating surface water like properties, making it difficult for fouling to attach to the hull and easy for them to slide off when the boat is in motion. When overcoating old antifoul, the silic system comprises of three things the silic seal conversion primer, the silic tie coat, and the Silic One Top Coat. You need one coat of the Silic Silk Conversion Primer, then one coat of the Silic Tie Coat, and then you'll need two coats of the Silic One Top Coat. Please note that you cannot use thinners in any of the Silic One products. Tools that you'll need. Paint roller and tray, brush, masking tape, wide paint stirrer, sandpaper or electric sander, PPE. It's actually vital to ensure that you're wearing the correct PPE when you're doing any painting uh, job. That includes mask, goggles or safety specs. It's a very strong solvent in there and you really don't want to be getting that in your eyes. So goggles, mask, gloves and all the rest. When overcoating old antifoul with the silicone system, you need to make sure that the surface is thoroughly prepared. Use sandpaper or an electric sander to remove any loose or flaky antifoul. This ensures good adhesion with the Silic Silk Conversion Primer. Once you've done that, rinse the surface with fresh water and allow it to dry naturally. Applying the Silic Seal Conversion Primer. Mix the Silic Seal until the consistency is completely smooth. It starts out quite lumpy to begin with. Then mix the curing agent into the Silic Seal Conversion Primer thoroughly to an even consistency. Then apply to the hull as you would any normal paint. Keep in mind though that this product has low viscosity and any runs and sags should be brushed out immediately. The pot life at 20 degrees Celsius is eight hours. The minimum application temperature is five degrees Celsius. One of the most important things about the Silic system is the overcoating times, which must be adhered to strictly. For overcoating times, please see the screen now. Applying the Silic One tie coat. The tie coat is a slightly different consistency. It's not quite as lumpy as the seal conversion primer, but still needs to be mixed thoroughly. Once mixed, just paint as normal with a roller and a brush for the areas that require more detail. Please make sure that the Silic One tie coat is applied to full coverage to ensure the adhesion of the Silic One top coat, because the Silic One top coat will not stick to anything that the tie coat has been painted on. The pot life for Silic One tie coat 60 minutes at 20 degrees Celsius. The minimum temperature for application and curing is 10 degrees Celsius. For overcoating times, please see the screen now. Applying the first coat of Silic One Top Coat. Like the other products, mix the Silic One Top Coat well, then apply like you would any normal top coat anti foul paint. Once you've completed the first coat, you must wait before it can be overcoated with the second. For overcoating times, please see the screen now. There is no maximum time to overcoat the Silic One top coat. However, if it has been more than 48 hours, the surface must be cleaned with a suitable detergent, rinsed with fresh water and allowed to dry before applying the second coat. Applying the second coat of Silic One Top Coat. This is exactly the same as the first coat, and once you've done, just remember to remove your masking tape. Once you've applied the second coat, there is a minimum time and a maximum time until you are allowed to launch. See the table on the screen now. No matter what the temperature, the maximum time is one month. Hempel Silic One may be seen as a complicated process, as you can see, it's not complicated at all, it's just about timing. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please like if you found it useful, and subscribe if you want to see more informative videos about all things on the water.